Indeed lads, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I got for you guys a 1.5 million coin squad builder that consists of the best of the best players and the newest of the newest players in this squad. And I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be meta, it's gonna be sweaty, but it's gonna be a bit different from the typical meta and sweaty players that everybody uses like Jairzinho, Janola, Mbappe. It's gonna be good players, but different. And so it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna make it fun, I'm gonna work my magic. So simply, what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna run through each player one by one in this formation for chemistry purposes only. This is not the in-game formation we're gonna use. This 442 is just for chemistry to get the players on the most can that they could possibly have then the in-game formation tactics and instructions all that good stuff will be released at the end of the video so make sure to stay for that because it is very important to play properly with the squad i'm going to give you so other than that let's hop into it all right so starting off in the goalkeeper position we're going to go with bonu the moroccan lad the sevilla lad as well he's a really good goalkeeper in this game and also in real life this released card here during the world cup makes him even better he pulls off those crazy saves that you are looking for and he gives links as well to someone in the squad that you will see very soon moving over to the right hand side now we're going to go with lucas vasquez the newly released card in the game of fifa 23 now people might ask carvajal or vasquez in my opinion vasquez he can do so much more for you and the same as carvajal he can defend just as well he's the same pace if not one more i believe four star four star and look at the stats guys this guy can pretty much do anything behind the ball or on the ball 97 stamina last new all game there's no doubt in my mind vasquez is the correct option and now for the left hand side the left back is going to be another real madrid lad ferlin mendy i'm telling you guys right now i actually don't even have to tell you you guys already know he is end game he gets the job done regardless if he's still a gold card 83 rated he's just an absolute monster in the back he's probably going to be your best defender and he's going to be the lowest rated i'm telling you right now now in the left center back position another la liga lad here araujo now guys this guy here in the beginning of the game was absolutely overpowered once the game sort of changed people slept on him but i'm telling you he's still that same guy he's still that same dude medium high work rates he's got that body type the pace as well i'm telling you he's going to be just as good as he was in the beginning of the game especially this upgraded card as well can't not go wrong with this card and to finish up the back four we're going to go with adair militao the gold card yes but he can of course still keep up after the patch he really came to life and became one of the best center backs in the game as of now as well his upgraded card the phenomena world cup card absolute top tier and his gold card is not far off he can still get the job done catch up to anybody body them and defend well and play out the back well so i'm telling you this back four here looking very very solid moving up into the attacking side of things now we're going to go with neymar zito here in the left mid position just for cam he's not going to be a left mid in game as i stated before so make sure to stay to the end for the in-game formation and tactics neymar five star five star the gold card yes but of course still usable it is only january this guy here still gets the job done just as good as he did in september now switching it over to the right hand side we're going to go with another five star five star player and it's going to be jesus Corona Tecatito guys another Sevilla lad to link up with Bonu as well and secure those links five star five star medium medium right footed the only thing he has above Neymar is the defensive stats and the physical stats he's more of like a box-to-box -box midfielder if you like and you're going to see in the formation we have later the role he's going to fit is going to be perfect with his play style and you guys will see very very soon now for these two central mids they're going to be absolute beasts and they're going to complement each other well with their play style so in the left center mid position we're going to go with the Barcelona lad the young lad Pedri the World Cup phenomenon card now I'm telling you right now this card here is going to be no joke the real deal because he has that five star skill move upgrade i don't know what's going on here all right it works now five star four star high high work rates right footed we all know about him guys and what he can do in the midfield he's going to be so good going forward and also defensively he's got the 96 stamina so he's going to be that annoying little rat in there just going left and right winning tackles getting into challenges and just pretty much everywhere like a conte but that can go forward i'm telling you right now he's not going to do you wrong and alongside of him we're going to go with the beast guys the young beast another world cup phenomenon who actually just gets the job done so well in the midfield i don't know if it's because of his hair or what it is but mateo guenduzzi guys i'm telling you right now he is another beast in the midfield again i don't know if it's hair or not that gives him plus five in each stat but he's like a hullet he's very very well rounded he's in the hullet game with all 80 pluses in the stats four star skills medium high six foot one with the hair six foot three look at the pace look at the shooting look at the passing the dribbling defending physicals everything 95 stamina last new all game these two guys here 96 stamina and 95 stamina what more do you want in two midfielders now for the last two positions the two strikers i'm telling you right now you are going to be absolutely amazed with this pairing in game and just on the paper guys it looks so so good so overpowered it's going to be we send benny there the new card the new centurion card i believe that's how you say it take a look at his stats five star weak foot four star skills we all know the rat king the rat leader ben yadair five seven high low work rates but look at the stats guys we all know what he can do in game he plays even beyond these amazing stats so very excited to recommend him to you guys and alongside of him without a doubt in my mind it's going to be 
Alexandre like a sweat. I'm telling you right now, this duo up top is going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to show you guys how this squad is going to line up because you're going to be absolutely amazed with the attack that we're going to have in the midfield and how it's properly set up. That way, everybody's in the proper position for their proper stats. Stay tuned for that, please. But this is the squad I'm telling you right now. It's looking amazing for 1.5 mil, something that's very meta, something that's very sweaty, but different from what the typical squad looks like now in FIFA. It's an absolutely amazing squad. All right, so taking a look at Footbin now, we can see that I saved you guys a bit of coins. The squad pricing is coming in around 1.45 mil, but this squad here for 1.45, an absolute steal. It's gonna get the job done. It's gonna give you that fun feeling, also meta and sweaty. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be very, very enjoyable to use all round. 33 out of 33 chemistry, of course, I got you guys. Do not worry about that, but that's pretty much how this breakdown is gonna go. Let's move on to the formation tactics and instructions, and then we can complete this squad builder and have you guys go on and go about with this squad and make your dreams come true in this sweaty, horrible game. All right, so of course, how the squad is gonna line up, you probably already guessed it, is gonna be in this 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation. Let's run through the tactics real quick on the defensive side. Defensive style set to balance, 55 width, 60 depth. On the offensive side, build a play set to balance, direct passing. With 50 on the offensive side, players in box set to six, corners two, and free kicks one. So how we're gonna line this dream team up is gonna be Ben Yadera, the Rat King, in the left striker position. In the right striker position is gonna be Laka Sweat. And right below them, of course, in the center attacking mid role is going to be Neymar Zito. This trio right now is looking so good to use. In the left center mid position is going to be Pedri. In the right center mid, it's going to be Corona, Tecatito, him and Pedri combined, guys. It's going to be perfect box-to-box -box little midfielders that have five-star skills that can go forward and defend. It's going to be perfect to use. And of course, sitting in between them is going to be the beast, Gwenduzi himself. And the back four is going to be as we had it. Finally, onto the instructions. We're going to have both strikers set to stay forward. And that is it. Balance everything else. I don't want to restrict either of them from getting in behind or checking in or staying central or drifting wide. I want them to do whatever they think is best to do with their good striker instincts, bending there and lock a sweat whatever they want to do, when they want to do it. In the center attacking mid role, Neymar is going to be set to stay forward and get into box for cross. This is because I want to solidify this attacking trio up top with the stay forward on all of them and they get into box for cross. That way they can always be compact and together and ready to go, ready to attack your opponent. And the two outside center mids are going to be set to balance everything except for get into box for cross and cover wing. So both of them set to the same exact thing. And right below them, Gwenduzi, the center defensive mid, cut passing lane, stay back and cover center. For the outside backs, the left back and right back set to the same thing, stay back and overlap and the center backs and keeper position. Position, I do not touch a thing. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some value from it. And I also hope you guys can use this exact squad or get the chance to because it's probably one of the best squad builders I've had in a while, in my opinion. I think it just ticks every box. I think it fits the meta, but not boring meta like Mbappe, Ginola, Jairzinho type of players. And they're very sweaty and it works very, very well with this formation. The type of players that we have in the squad, the 4 one 2 and 2 narrow with Pedri and Corona, how wide Guendouzi sitting in there, and the trio with Laka Sweat and Ben Yadera up top with Neymar right below them. I think it ticks all the boxes of a great squad for the 1.5 mil coin budget and the instructions the formation the tactics make sure to follow those because that's in my opinion what i recommend for this squad to play and if you want to change it feel free to go ahead and do so everybody plays their game different but use this squad i'm telling you it can't go wrong you guys saw the team you guys know what it's about other than that join my discord if you need any help with squad building i'm always in there to help feel free to join link in the description below other than that take care